and welcome to Big Friendly Grub, you beautiful, amazing, wonderful people. Now, today, at the time of recording, it is towards the end of April 2021. We have been in the COVID pandemic for well over a year. And in that time, I have been working from home since March last year. In case you didn't know, this is not my full-time job, unfortunately, but I am a UX designer at a company called Rocket Mill in Brighton and I haven't been in the office for over a year. But tomorrow, which is a Thursday, I'm going to be returning to the Rocket Mill offices for the first time in 13 months, which is a bit weird because I haven't been there for so long, but I'm also excited because there are gonna be other people there. It's gonna be quite safe, socially distanced. The whole office layer has been changed so that people can you know, sit distantly and things like that. But I have been given the okay to take some food into the office because one of the things I loved doing before all of this kicked off was baking for my work colleagues. And I haven't done that in over a year and I really miss it. So I felt like I had to mark my return to the office by baking something. And because there's gonna be a load of new people who have started during this whole pandemic who I haven't actually met in person and don't know that well, I wanna make something that's suitable for all. So I wanna make something vegan, something super tasty that everyone will enjoy and hopefully with no allergies and things like that. So I am going to be making some vegan red velvet cupcakes. Everyone loves a cupcake. Also, because they're individual, doesn't mean people have to get their hands all over them. Yeah, people can just pick one up and go back to their desk. They don't have to try and slice a big cake or anything like that, because we're still trying to be safe and hygienic. So it's gonna be red velvet cupcakes today, but vegan, so no eggs, no dairy or anything like that. So we're gonna be changing some things up, but on the whole, it's gonna be a really simple recipe. And I'm gonna stop talking because I've babbled on long enough. Let's make some vegan red velvet cupcakes. So the batter for these vegan red velvet cupcakes is super simple. All we need to do is put in our wet ingredients first. So I have got 165 milliliters of sunflower oil, 330 milliliters of non-dairy milk. I've gone for oat milk because that's the one I am more partial to. Three teaspoons of cider vinegar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just gonna whisk that all together as best as I can because it is like mixing oil and water almost. The vinegar might seem weird, but that is actually a component of normal red velvet cupcakes as well. I'm not sure why, to be honest. I might look it up. I also might not. Then into my wet ingredients, I wanna put my dry ingredients. So there's 260 grams of plain flour there. Same amount, 260 grams of caster sugar. 15 grams of cocoa powder, and we've got our raising agents. We've got one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of bicarb, and a teaspoon of salt. And those go to. And just got to whisk this all together until we get a nice, smooth, lump-free batter. There we go, that looks pretty good to me. That looks fairly smooth, nice consistency. And obviously we need some red in our red velvet cupcakes, so I'm gonna add in some red food coloring, basically until I'm happy with the color of it, because every single food coloring is a bit different, so I am just gonna eyeball it. I'm going in with even more than that. Whoops, not with the uh, lemon plastic ring off the thing though. The color of this will fade once it's baked in the oven as well. Ah, I'm gonna go with the whole bottle, why not? It looks much redder that should hopefully hold its color it will have to because I don't have any more red food coloring so that looks good so i've just transferred this into a jug to make it easier to pour into my cupcake cases and i'm going to try and divide this up as evenly as i possibly can right i got 12 out of that i was hoping for more but that's fine um it'll probably be 11 by the time they get to work but it's fine it's fine so these are going to go into the oven at 180 degrees C for about 15 to 20 minutes, I'd estimate, but we shall see. All right, my cupcakes are out of the oven. They had 30 minutes in the end, but they are now done. I can tell, because if I poke through the top here, the skewer, it comes out clean. It's not wet at all, which is great. These need to be left to cool completely because if we put our icing on top of them now, it will just melt. So these need to be left to cool. So I'm gonna put them on the cooling rack and just give them as long as they need to cool down. It's quite warm today, so it could take a while. But in the meantime, we can be getting on with our icing. Usually we'd be doing a cream cheese icing because it's red velvet, but we can't do cream cheese because, well, clues in the name, it's cream, it's cheese. You could use a vegan cream cheese, but I haven't honestly found one that I really like. So I am using some vegan spread here and we're just gonna turn it into a 
icing with icing sugar and the vegan spread. And we're also gonna add a little bit of lemon juice just to give it kind of that tang that you would get in cream cheese. So I've got 365 grams of a vegan spread, butter, whatever you wanna call it, in there. And it's already pretty soft, so I don't need to beat this for too long. I just wanna get it lighter in color. There we go, that's much lighter in color, looking good. With that all beaten and lighter in color, I need to now add in some icing sugar. In fact, I need to add a lot of icing sugar, which is here in this bowl off to the side, which I can't fit into the shot, but it needs 1.1 kilos of icing sugar. It's a lot of icing sugar, I know. There's no way around that because this is very soft and you need a lot of icing sugar to get a decent structure on your icing basically there's no way around it otherwise you'll get sloppy horrible icing that will just go everywhere so we need a lot of it so i'm going to put in half my icing sugar now let it mix in and then i'll put in the other half and let it finish off and i'm very glad this does have a lid because this stuff goes everywhere so on it goes in with the rest and then back down with the lid and let that all combine There we go, a nice, smooth and creamy vegan buttercream. Now I can't use this until my cakes are cooled, so I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge until I need it. So I've got my icing in a piping bag with a large-ish nodule, nodule, I can't talk tonight, nozzle. Anyway, so I'm going to pipe these with no real ceremony to be honest. I'm just gonna squeeze it all out into the middle, like so and just keep repeating that for each one. I'm not going too over the top with these. My battery died as I was icing those, but never mind, um, you get the idea. Nothing too fancy here. Usually with red velvet cakes, you would decorate it with some of the cake itself. You'd save some of the cake, like trimmings or stuff like that. Um, I don't have any extra cake, so I can't decorate it with cake. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to grate over some lovely dark chocolate over these. Vegan, obviously. And I'm just gonna, yeah, grate it over the top just so we've got a nice sprinkling of dark chocolate over there. That broke. There we go. Vegan red velvet cupcakes, all ready. Now all I have to do is try one for purely quality assurance, of course. There we go, vegan red velvet cupcakes. Done, nice and simple. Really simple actually, perhaps too simple. Actually, there's no such thing, but they really are pretty easy to do. Just the hardest part is waiting for them to cool down so you can do the icing. But it's getting late, I wanna try one of these, so let's see how it's come out. A lot of the clue is always, does it stick to the case? No, it does not. That has come out very, very nicely. The lighting's so bad now, but there you go. Look at that. That is a lovely light cupcake. So, all that's left to do is give this a try. This is basically my dinner because I haven't eaten yet. Mm. Oh yeah, lovely. Mm. Really nice, really, really nice. I'll be honest, I think you'd be hard pressed to tell that they were vegan. They are so nice, so simple and so good. So, so good, mm, delicious. There's nothing more to say about those. They are red velvet vegan cupcakes. What more do you want? Well, they came out great. I'm really happy with those. Hopefully you will too if you give them a try. If you're a vegan and you want red velvet or you just want to make red velvet cupcakes, either way, they're great. So the light's going, it's late. I want to go sit down. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful. If you give them a go, let me know, but otherwise, Take care, I will see you next time on Big Friendly Grub. Don't forget to like and subscribe 
and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Okay, these have had some time to call. Not as long I would have liked. Not as long I would have liked, is that a sentence?